whatever it is you are believing God for, I've come to tell you that it is not yet late. No time is late for God. They call him the God of the eleventh hour. So he can come in odd hours and still do mind-blowing things. He's God. Praise God. There are lessons only the storm will teach you. It doesn't matter how much you have been in the class. A mechanic is better than an engineer in the class. If you have not done the practicals. Is someone hear what I'm saying? He said people by reason of use have their senses exercised. There are things only the storm can teach you. The more you pray about it, the more it doesn't even make sense. Praise God. And a certain preacher started preaching and said, Who wants an urgent miracle? And almost every hand was in the air. I say, lift up your mouth and your voice and pray. Say, Father, I want urgent problems. And everywhere was quiet. I said, but the way to have miracles is to have problems. Every miracle was a problem solved. It's all here what I'm saying. <laughs> what you call miracle was a problem that was solved. There is no miracle if there wasn't a problem in the first place. And in the school of restoration, in this kingdom, the fastest route to having it done is to go through the storm. And I want to tell you somebody tonight or this morning, it doesn't matter how you are praying now, if it is a storm you need to go through, God will allow you to go through it. Amen. Look at your neighbor. Eyeball to eyeball. Tell them, go through the storm. Go through it. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. Pastor, let your anointing work. If I pray for you, it doesn't work. Then it's a school. You hear what I'm saying? I know I'm anointed. Are you following what I'm saying? I know. I may not know what God is doing. They ask Jesus, they say, who sinned? Because they said nobody sinned. It wasn't caused by any sin. It's not everything that is caused by sin. But certain things happen so that a dimension of God is revealed. A dimension of God. We never knew that a 90-year-old woman can give birth to a child until it happened to Sarah. Is someone hear what I'm saying? We never knew. So if you are going through a particular storm right now, go through it. Amen. Today is not the day to bind the storm. <laughs> Exam, they are dragging you here, dragging you there, dragging you there, challenge here, challenge there, challenge there, challenge there. Go through it. That's the spice. By the time you are done and you are out and you begin to tell the stories, somebody that just is about to just commit suicide will throw away the... the yeah. You know, some people want to commit suicide. They go to buy sniper and they're asking for change <laughs> i'm not ready to die <laughs> what will you use the change for you're not serious praise god you're crossing the main road you want to die and you have to go, hey you want to kill me what but you wanted to die amen so listen friends if you are going through any storm now go through it go through it the Bible said, the Lord is with me as I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death. I have not come to live here. I am walking through. It doesn't mean you are not living there. It simply means you are walking through the valleys of the shadows. I want to announce to you, the storm will not kill you. Paul announced to them, he said, there shall be no loss. There shall be no loss. In this storm. And the Bible said, the moment they came out of the storm, they started worshiping him and they say he's a god. This guy he must be a god. In fact, to even worsen it all, they survived the storm, came out, a viper beat him. I, I, I'm just trying to give testimony that if you know what I survived, this is now a viper. It's all here, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of this storm, 
some of you will become gods it's not gods by reason of ordination it's god by reason of use by reason of use what you have survived he said i'm just about to thank god for the storm we just survived the ship crashed everything is looking as if we are not we, this is our end everybody in the boat have given up hope and he said there shall be no loss i want to tell you no matter what's happening keep saying it it was paul that was telling them there shall be no loss the angel of the lord appeared to me and told me there shall be no loss and you see in the bible there is 365 fear not god has given an allocation of fear not for every day all through the year so he said even if you are in the storm fear not fear not fear not let fuel be 10,000 naira per liter fear not god will give you 10 million per day yes, sir. Yes, sir. it's all here what i'm saying do you know how much bill gates makes per second four million dollars four million dollars so if he is going now and loses ten thousand dollars he cannot go back to pick it because it will be by the time he's going back and picking it and continuing he must have lost hundred million dollars are you following what i'm saying so what you are thinking that there is there's no scarcity somebody say the angel of the lord has told me there shall be no loss believe it while everybody is talking what is happening what is happening we are losing it's as if we are losing everything we have it's as if we have lost the boat it's as if we have lost everything but paul said that is why the bible says you are the light of the world that is why i, I, I am i begin to wonder do we have need of light when there is no darkness to chase away the moment light goes there is darkness but when light is there darkness does not have any free day the bible said in a world full of darkness that is why you are here and let your light allow your light when everybody's crying i remember the day i can't forget it is it was so real it wasn't a dream it was of course real we were eating we we're eating no i wasn't even eating i was doing my assignment in my What's the name mcdonald's in oka and some boys were around these sass people entered there carried all of us carried every young man that was in the place the moment we entered the aka i started speaking in tongues but covet men like yeah all these other boys were crying they are crying they were crying he said what's going to happen to us this is sass people <laughs> the point was at first we didn't even know it was sass they were wearing mufti it was a boss it wasn't a branded boss we thought it was kidnapped but whether it is kidnapped with heavily armed time heavily armed boys black all of them black one of them looked at me and said my name is hitler i have killed 17 people he, he looked at me eyeball to eyeball as he was looking at me i was speaking in tongues back boys we are they were afraid they were crying they were, they were literally crying they were literally crying i sat in that bus and was speaking in tongues they carried us and moved us to Akuzo. the moment we got there i said let this land reject us that was my prayer and i shouted it all of them heard it the moment we entered into Okozo and sat in the counter the, the first news we heard is that the ogre that is supposed to take care of our case is in south africa and he will be back in two weeks time they've been calling him he's not picking to know what to do with us whether to kill us or to dispose us anyhow that was it so the as they were calling he was the, before you know as we were entering the counter to sit down at the counter we were still removing our clothes or got called he said what is it that you have been disturbing he said there are some kidnappers that was kidnapped they want to kidnap all politicians he said which boys he said take those bars back to Oka immediately he said take those boys back to Oka and handle it there the news came he said oh yeah come on away on our clothes we are going back to Oka and all of the boys came Hitler came to me and said this has never happened before it has never happened before it has never happened before you can't be in the midst of darkness and no one knows that you are the light you can't be you can't be 
is the reason why you have been formed in the image of God that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven but they may see that is why you are framed for such a time as this he said the way you shake or fail in the days of adversity he said it is your strength that is little it's your strength that is little so boost yourself in your most holy faith if Paul didn't have faith he wouldn't tell them he said the angel of the Lord even if the angel of the Lord tells you you still say but the boat is scattering we are literally on the face of the water. Everybody was holding on to one plank like that. It's as if everything is lost. Complete. Everything is lost. Mine are saying, I'm not coming out. And the viper. I just want to catch some heat. Let them heat up the fire so that you, they can survive the cold of the sea. And the viper took hold on him. I want to tell you, whatever you are going through, eh, go through it. The healing unction is coming upon you. The healing power of God is coming upon you. Enter the hospital. Begin to heal everybody. Begin to heal everybody. He said, by his stripes, healing comes out. You so hear what I'm saying? He said, it is by his stripes that healing is exhumed. By his stripes is healing released. Is healing released. So if you don't have stripes, what can you heal? Am I talking to somebody? So go through the storm. <laughs> go through the storm. He didn't come to kill you. He came to build you. Praise God. Now sometimes you think you are listening until the storm comes. Especially to you. You know it's easy to listen to other people's story. Wow! Hi! I was faith and power and anointing. It is very easy. What? It's very easy. You think you are listening. They say obedience. They say faith. Until the matter hits you. It's a belief in your mother. You think you believe until the kind of storm that hits Job hits you. You will not know that you want your husband or your spouse to die. You say, cause God and Cause God and die. And sometimes you think that you, you are listening to messages. Until you enter some things, will not tell you, go and carry my message on this and listen. Pastor Chris used to say, you know, that there was a time he, infirmity hit him from every angle. And he, he has prayed, he has fasted, he has done everything he could do. He said, God, what is this? Uh, Pastor Chris, I can great healing man of God he said God what is this like, sometimes he will want to go and minister he can't even rise he's waste his legs everywhere he will just pray God give me grace he will enter the altar he will preach as if nothing is happening but by the time he's finishing everywhere is broken so he heard the voice of God and the voice of God told him go and carry my, my, my servant's message and listen to him he said who is your servant sir he said pastor Chris or your kilometer It that's what he said he heard he said the voice of god told him go and carry the messages of my servant and listen to him. he said who is your servant sir he said pastor chris Oyakilome. because pastor chris Oyakilome is not the person pastor chris Oyakilome is a spirit he said unto the angel of the lord in calabar dominion chapel right the angel of the church in Thessalonica in Lodesia, right? So you see, I am standing here. The young sis, the lady that day, the day that day, that's why I told you before you come to church, pray. The people that saw her praying that Friday that we were in church, she was praying. Is I didn't know that it was her. Now the, my prophetic, I'm seeing a child in the school of my prophetic. I know I'm a heavy prophet, but I'm still growing. The spirit left her and hit me and told me exactly. But I didn't know what, what I don't know whether it was her. That's why I don't like calling people out. If he tells me something, I just say it. I know God will do it. He can't tell me for nothing. He can't tell me for nothing. Did you tell me to just uh, are we here to play games? No. The young lady was praying passionately. Praying passionately. 
and the spirit left her and came and whispered to me said this is this is what is disturbing her this is what is disturbing you just come to church anyhow so the angel of the lord the bible said god told him to listen to a pastor it's not the bible god told him it's not the bible that said god is god that told him so he went and sat down and carried pastor chris oyakilome's teachings and started listening to it as he was listening to it faith entered the spirit he said faith come by hearing and hearing at the word of god he said as he was listening to pastor chris oyakilome it's not the things he was telling himself i am healed of the lord i am strong i am strengthened he said the moment he gets hearing the faith for healing entered him and he jumped on his feet and received his healing and this is this healing and sometimes you think you have heard until you hear again sometimes you think you have heard until you hear again some of you need to hear again he said go and tell john again john was the one that said this is the lamb of god that taketh away the sins of the world nobody knew you knew you knew before every other person you are now seen but this is john now saying when the star when the storms came for john he said go 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 and ask him is he the one or should we expect another <laughs> God has not changed. Is still the same God. <laughs> Even if you hear tomorrow that 5,000 pastors we are caught in a hotel, God is still God. Am I talking to somebody? Even if you hear that all the elders of the church in the whole world are now beer pan up sellers, God is still God. He said, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. That is why it's a very big mess and mistake for you to be looking at a brother in church. Of course, iron, sharpness iron. But anytime you come to God, come looking at him. When I entered Dominion Chapel, of course, there was already a structure. When I entered Dominion Chapel, you know, they were already having two services. So you can imagine the number. There was already a structure. There were leaders. There was already 12 generations. We are doing six teams. There were 12 generations. And the 12th generation is not the whole church. It's just the youth. Just the youth. And I entered. And I met these leaders. I started following them. I submitted here. I submitted them. I was here. I was there. I was there. At a point, certain of them became offended for one thing. And so many of them started leaving. And you know one thing with them the moment they want to leave they want you to follow them it's a must it's a must you call me private meeting here call me private meeting there call me private meeting there my answer remains when i entered dominion Church, i didn't know you uh, is someone following what i'm saying the day i entered dominion chapel the man of god preached and i said this is the man i should follow he said follow me as i follow christ it's not follow a left hand. It's not follow somebody that's following somebody that's following somebody. And you see, my followership of him is as long as he's following Christ. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The day my pastor says that God is no longer God, that God is a woman, I start following him. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You know, in America now, they say you, you, should, you should not give him gender. He's either a he or a she. That is transgender. Eh? That God is not, but God does not have gender. He's not a he. So it's okay to say our mother who are in heaven. Their mother who are in heaven. Ah, I'm not in a hurry to go there. If I'm going there, let's go and preach and come back. Because a lot of the people I know that have went there, ah, they are, they, they are twisted. They are twisted. And what is deceiving them is because of the prosperity messages they have been hearing. God will prosper you. God will prosper you. God will prosper you. So they think that it's because of prosperity that we are serving God. So when they now go and see people that are not serving God prospering, they say they are deceiving you in Africa. All those things they are saying, pray, 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 pray. And all of that, and all of that. They are seeing the way. They are seeing the light. Seeing the light. Who told you we are serving God because of prosperity? 
God is the God of prosperity. But even in the storm, we will serve him. Am I talking to somebody? And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego told them, he said, Oh king, we are not mindful of how we answer you in this matter. We know. Somebody say we know. We know that our God will deliver us. But even though, even if he doesn't deliver us, know this, O king, we shall not bow to the golden image you have made. Know this. Know this. And it's not about prosperity. It's not about prosperity. We are serving him because he's our father. You can't run away from where you've come from. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You can't run away from where you came from. You can't run away. Where you been running to? That's why in Igbo they say Agaracha must come back. If you go to village, you are in the city doing everything you are doing. Village people, they know where they are waiting for you. When you want to marry, you will know that village people there. Then you want to bury somebody. Ah, you will know. You will believe. Do you know that when I was burying my father, Omar and that came and said, This is not our son. That my father is not their son. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't look like my father. Somebody that died June and they were burying him September. They say he's not. A, so, what they're telling you, we should come and appease them. That this is not their son. They will just look for one thing. When they finish that one, they now so told my mother, you're the one that killed our son. They'll just be doing a lot of drama, bringing up things that doesn't add up from several places and nonsense. Village people. I don't know if your village people is as strong as my village. My own is very strong. But I strong past them. <laughs> Amen. You thought you are listening until the storm comes to you you know peter thought he has understood jesus and how compassionate he is just like john thought he know jesus peter thought i knew i have known this i have known is he not jesus jesus my guy in my wrist my region he thought he has known him he said until when they were now in the storm peter went to where jesus he said oh, what's wrong with this guy he, he pushed he, he woke jesus and he said Careless not thou that we perish. It wasn't a it wasn't a careless not thou that we perish. Are you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. For once, Peter remembered that he senior Jesus. He, he just he just went to where he was. He's walking. Oh, oh, nah, what's going to happen now? <laughs> careless not thou that we are perishing here. Woke him up from sleep. Say what will happen? fear remove your, your guy is sleeping you go go wake him up you understand what i'm saying it's not it's not a it's not a a quick or something the thing entered the guy he said he came look jesus look jesus look jesus he remember in wipe and cord if he had seen cord he would have wiped that time there was no cord but he just he beat out for wipe jesus cord woke the guy up say, say what what is she what what is going on here? How are you sleeping? Are you saying you came to save us? Careless down not that we perish. There are sometimes, have you not seen some believers who reach a point, they will now ask God, God, why me? Who should it be? Should be me. It may be you. <laughs> it may be them. It may be someone by your side. <laughs> Who should it be now? Eh? Count it all joy when you go through diverse kinds of temptation for the sake of the kingdom. You did not hear it. Bible said in those days they will flog them for the kingdom. You went for a crusade. And so if some people even came and will you, you will let them back. Those days they will let you, they will flog you. They will flog you and tell you never to preach in this name again. And they will move from there and come to church first and do testimony. And then from there, go to another place to preach. Go to another place to preach. This one, you were coming to church. Rain beats you. You catch cold. You stop church for two weeks. That's if you pity church, you do two weeks. That's if you pity church, you do two weeks. Praise God. 
the storm did not come to kill you it did not come to kill you sometimes god wants you to go through it so that you find out a dimension of him that you never knew you must understand that the storm and difficult terrains is not yours to fix did you hear what i said you must understand that storms and difficult terrains are not yours to fix let me take for instance you are driving along Udubani uh, to Ugeb Road and you know oh, that one is even a little better now you are driving Kalaba Itu Road Amen and you are just doing bucket, 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 bucket. what do you do you come down and start repairing the road is that what you do what you do is you know how to drive navigate properly where you see where you need to match break match break properly your job is not to fix the storm or the difficult terrain your job is to take ownership of you what happens in your environment in your spirit don't let the road get you so angry that you're not driving rough you say I'm, you, are, you are going to drive rough if you your car will pack and you will stay there and our robbers will come and rob you and you wake up in the morning and they'll collect all your money and you will not trek and everything everything the more you get angry and bitter the badder the journey becomes are you getting what i'm saying Your tire will bust as you are trying to fix it. Your engine oil will knock. Everything, this will be spoiling. More things will be spoiling. What is will be spoiling? You know, angry. Say, what is all this nonsense? What is happening here? What is all that? Some boys, as you are saying, they say, oh God, what is happening? Let us help you and fix it. Your phone, don't miss. <laughs> More things, bad things will be happening. So take control. Take ownership. Take control of yourself and how you respond the difficult terrain is not yours to fix but yours to survive your duty is to survive it don't die tell your neighbor don't die don't die <laughs> don't, die. don't commit suicide it doesn't solve anything if you commit suicide you go to hell the suffering continues the life of man is endless did you hear what i said so suicide is not he said you know you have left us from the wicked world to go and rest eternally in the bosom of the father if you commit suicide you die and go to hell so don't die just be alive don't kill yourself it's all here on saying you know before i told you that you should kill yourself did i say that you know when i was teaching you when they say allow me to enjoy myself so you are just free just flexing and flexing no in that one you need to be serious with your life it's all hero i'm saying but now i'm telling you don't kill yourself don't kill yourself don't die they say he that runs from a fight leaves to fight another day so leave so you can fight another day amen are you getting blessed this morning some people are so goal oriented that when it seems things are out of control they get so agitated they get so agitated because they just like to solve problems they just like to solve you know problems just like to solve problems when school is disturbing ah it seems things just calm down what can i do now what can i solve now what can I solve now? You stop it. Chunk the issues that come to you. Chunk it. Leave matter. It is all. It's big. Ah, oh, oh. Leave it all. Okay, so now what can I solve now? Start chunking it. Chunk the work. Don't let things so much overcloud you, be cloud you, uncloud you, decloud you, cloud cloud you. And Amen. Amen. So calm down. Don't get agitated. Bible said be anxious for nothing but in all things with prayer 
and supplication. Make your request known unto God with thanksgiving. Make your request known unto God. And when you have prayed, believe in the strength of God to fix the storm. It's God that fixes the storm. God is like the government. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He's like the government. He's the one that fixes the storm. Your own is to survive it. So while you wait, pray and do what you can do. Control your inner peace. Be joyful. These are the things you can do. It's not worrying and bothering about the storm. You can't do anything about fuel now. You can't do, even if you want to, you cannot. You can't do anything about the dollar. The only thing you can do now is to earn more dollars. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Someone gave me one thousand dollars. When he gave me, it was seven eighty. By the time I was selling it, it was eight hundred and something. Now I'm crying that I even sold it. I sold it at eight seventeen. Now it's eight hundred and seventy thousand. Eight hundred and seventy naira a dollar. Are you following what I'm saying? So earn more dollars. Start earning in dollars. Anything you can do to earn in dollars, start it. Because Naira is not going to help you. My wife's elder sister was working here as a nurse. They were paying her 150000 She tried all her best and got a job in the UK. And her startup salary is $3,500. About that range. That's approximately, no dollars, pounds. That's approximately 4 million Naira. From 150K to 4 million. Are you following what I'm saying now? It was supposed to be demotion because from 150,000 to 35, I will be paying somebody 35. But that's approximately 4 million. Some nurses in the house are now saying, Lord, we move. You stay with me, abide with me, or you nurses. <laughs> Please don't leave me. <laughs> we'll fix the country. Amen. Yeah. Are we not gods again? Yeah. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Amen. Yeah. As she received her first salary, sent one kind of offering to, to, to the parents. And, and they will say, Where is this money coming from? Where is this money? They called me first to know that I'm telling you. It was 11 midnight. They, they called me and said, Please, did you send money? I, I said, I did not send any money. That my, I was the first person. Can you clap for me now? They tried. I was the first person to come to mind. I had to call me. Did I send it? I said, No, I did not send it. And I found out it was her. Praise God. Through the storm, it is not the, the situation that you should be focusing on. It is your perspective. It's your perspective that has to change. Change your perspective towards things. I think that, uh, you know, somebody came to my office and was telling me, well, a lot of, I was just like this. Oh, child. Was, by the time she was done, and I told her one or two things, she, um, she encouraged her and said, Pastor, it is well. <laughs> I am living right now. <laughs> she, she received strength. <laughs> You know, because then they come around and you see us oh, plow, shouting, praising God, dancing. If you say we'll give this, we did this, you think we don't have any problem. Have any problem. Last year was a hell of a year for me. You are losing money, you are losing your father, you are doing burial, you are doing this one, now this one, this one is happening, this one is happening, this one is happening. But never a time was he written on my face. Amen. So go through the storm, light is coming. Somebody say, why is there light at the end of the tunnel? <laughs> you should move it to the beginning. Amen. But it's still at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Some of you will see it in the end. Some of you will see it in the middle. Anywhere you see it, there is light somewhere. Amen. So change your perspective. Change your perspective. That God allowed some storm for you to experience what others haven't. So that you will know God in a certain way. Abraham had a revelation of Jehovah Jireh. Say, God, my provider. On top of the mountain, there is no way to find a lamb there. But God provided one for himself there. He discovered God in that dimension. So there was nothing you were going to tell him about 
providing that he doesn't know that God can provide he knows it me I know it that God can provide out of the blues he can provide praise God the apostles saw the storm and they knew the prince of peace the Bible said when Jesus woke up he said peace be still so they understood from time immemorial they said he is the prince of peace so the moment he said peace everywhere peace was peace went and told the sea shut up and the sea had peace and there was peace there was peace so they understood the prince of peace they understood that dimension of god job went through the storm and he knew that god can restore the years that the canker worms the caterpillars no matter how terrible it is i don't think any man has ever lost any things like job i don't think i don't think i don't think so a man lost his business lost his children do you know how many children God let her give him? Do you know? Ten children. Seven boys and three girls. That was what God let her give him. Let's read Job 42. Job 42 verse 10. And the Bible said, And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. So you are going through things and you still have the capacity to pray for others. That's mind-blowing. That's mind-boggling. He said, do you, do you understand English? He said, God turned the captivity of Job. When? And Hannah went home and was no more sorrow and God remembered her. It was no longer a sorrow. And God remembered her. Ah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going through. You don't know what I'm going through. All those things you are doing, we just pity you. The only, sometimes the only thing we can say is, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. We just say, it's not the, the hey, yeah, that we, this one, your own is hey, yeah. It's not hey, yeah. We'll do hey, yeah for you. You don't know what we have gone through you don't know what we are going through now i listened to a man of god several years ago and he called it reverend chidi okorafa he said the university of tears <laughs> i listened to that message over 200 times i bought the cartridge that time we have cassettes we put it in the radio and we'll, i was listening to it the university of tears the city of tears it looks as if it's endless it's always flowing one thing is hooking another thing is bringing another thing is bringing another thing so god where are you god where are you but how is it that job lost all his friends his no is everything and he still have the capacity to pray for them he said also the lord gave job twice as much as he had before as he had before so job knew that God can restore. God can restore. And anytime God wants to restore, He doesn't bring it as it used to be. He does exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ask or think. Praise God. Now I started this on the, I think on Wednesday. And I want to just touch a little bit on it. To navigate through difficult terrains, we said number one, keep God at the center of your life. God. He said, who turned away the captivity of Job? Put that scripture back. Who turned away the captivity of Job? So what if Job has left the Lord, as the wife has said? Is it Satan that took it will restore it? Now, she gave a testimony. I know the details of the testimony. A thief stole something. What they did now, we don't know the thief, but they involved authority. So the authority started searching 
they sought and sought and they found the thieves and they caught the thieves now the thieves is going to restore say it's, i think he said about 400 or something thousand that they are going to restore to them don't know whether the phones is fifty thousand or thirty thousand but what they are going to pay is four hundred thousand that's what they're going to be he said and the lord what if job has left the lord what if job has left the lord what if he's trying somewhere now trying to fix his problem and he's not telling others now forget that thing do, do you know i used to make sacrifices every day for my business my children do, do you know the offerings we have given they become elder brothers of george evangelists of doom they, they, they become evangelists of doom and what they are telling you is true but they didn't know that the storm came for their promotion and they failed am i talking to somebody the the bad thing is that you will never know that is why my pastor thought what he said sin is so dangerous and evil that anytime you sin something dies but because you don't know you think life is just normal that things just went on as normal that's what you think a young lady had every reason not to follow us to abuja but by all means she went with us the moment we arrived the next thing a young man was walking into the gates and she was coming out the, the guy said mm, the lord spoke to me this one we went to abuja now he said, mm, the lord spoke to me i know the young man she didn't tell me anything he didn't tell me anything i saw him i said where is your wife he says i have not found her i looked around i looked around i said i'll show you when i see her and she was coming and i said is that not your wife he said did she tell you anything i said she didn't tell me anything he says that when i was coming in she was the first person i saw and my spirit told me that she's the one Okay, my spirit told me and she's the one that's the first question he asked me is did she tell you anything i said how will i be having that kind of person okay. oh, somebody will come and see you and the girl come and you have not even told the girl anything the girl is not coming to say i saw somebody in the gate how can we be having that kind of person what if what if what if you are not where you are supposed to be some of you should have married three years ago but you are still single Do you know what is discipline discipline is being where you need to be whether you like it or not that's what's discipline be where you need to be it's not where you feel like being it's rain you are supposed to go to church go to church just like you will not miss exam because it's raining you tell the lecturer please um course please tell the lecturer that i'll write it when when is when the rain stop the lecturer say wow what's her red number give me her red number let me write that so that when she comes i'll give her special attention i'm supposed to have interview and you say hey, it's raining oh you say it's, you don't have transport are you understanding what i'm saying oh, the 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 this is this one went to an interview you have to look for money look for money look for money look for money everywhere to go to portacourt for interview he did not say how oh, people should come to Calabar. Am I talking to somebody? People should move it to Calabar, move it to my base. Don't you know who I am? I am Gideon, the mighty man of valor, the man of war. I command fire and troops. He didn't say that. He looked for money and went to Port Harcourt. Be where you need to be, whether you feel like being there or not. I have never missed church because I was sick. Never. And I wasn't born a pastor. It's discipline. One of the days I was I was hot. I was trembling. I was my head was banging. I was beating the drums. My pastor saw the way I was shaking. The moment service he called me, he said, oh, What is it? He said, I've not been feeling fine. He prayed for me, gave the money to buy a drug for me. I took drug and was still coming to church. And somebody say, 
you are sick that's why you're at home what if you die at home am i talking to somebody i'm dialing all your numbers all the numbers all the, I'm, I'm pressing you on every side but, so if you are here now and something starts happening to you at least we can pray for you after praying for you we'll call and say uh, send for help do this do that do that if it's something that needs medication we can help you why are you at home you will now call another sister to come and stay with you so that all of you will not be at home why are you at home why are you at home come to church lie down at the back the bible said the young man was sick they carried there was no space they broke ceiling and brought him down jesus saw the faith say ah what a faith what a faith what, what is this so what a faith now, it wasn't the power of jesus that hid him it was their faith it was their faith because the bible says jesus laid hands on certain sick and nothing happened because they didn't believe they didn't believe is someone getting blessed tonight keep god at the center at the center of it all it's you that i see there are challenges all around but i keep my eyes on the center it's you that i see if i look right there is mercy i look right there's forest i look at i look back the egyptians are coming at the center of it all it's you that i see it's you that i see you see he was with them as a pillar of cloud fire by day and pillar of cloud by night Jesus, god was always with them why are you afraid why are you afraid why are you afraid keep god at the center of it all keep god the lord turned the captivity of job lord turned the captivity of job it was the lord he is the only authority that can restore what the enemy has stolen the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof. Even if the thief like let him carry it and send to wherever it is, it will restore. The phone they said the phone have already gone to I don't know. Some is now in Obubra, uh, some is now in Lagos. But anywhere you went to, it's not it's not it's not the concern. You will restore. When an authority has got you. <laughs> Put the Lord at the center. Keep your eyes on him. Stop chasing people who God is trying to take out of your life. Am I talking to somebody? Stop chasing people who God is trying to take out of your life. You should be singing, Lord, I need you. But you are singing... Emeka, I need you. It's not Emeka you need. It's the Lord. It's not great you need. It's the Lord. It's not Chica that you need. It's the Lord. I just spoke to three ladies now. By prophetic function. I'm hearing a funny, a funny. I just heard a funny, funny. And it's not, it's not a joke. It's, it's a funny. A funny is messing you up. It's not a funny you need. It's not a funny you need. It's not a funny you need. Stop letting a funny mess you up. Whoever you are. Stop trying to keep the people God is trying to save you from. Stop trying to keep the people God is saving you from. Stop trying to keep. Stop trying to keep. You don't know what God is delivering you from. You don't know. God will always use what you have left not what's left do you someone hear what i say god will always use what you have left not what's left the woman came and told elisha i said your servant has left us with debts and the debtors have come to take the children as a collateral 
And he said to him, What do you have left in your house? What do you have left in your house? And out of what was left came all the miracles of a new business. And new things happening all around. What do you have left? What do you have left? Pick up yourself. Pick up yourself and start walking. It's not yet an end until it has, it has ended. This one is not emotional. It's not motivational talk. <laughs> but pick up yourself. Pick up yourself. Stop grieving over who and what left. What do you have left? Praise God. And we said on Wednesday, you want to keep God at the center of it all. What do you need to do? Matthew 6 verse 19. We'll read down to 21. Matthew 6 verse 19. He said, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. 20. He said, But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. 21 he said for where your treasure is there will your heart be also there will your heart be also and i told them of certain of my sons you know even me person while i was growing up i started very early to give things to god started loving god very early very early before I entered university, I gave my first fifty thousand men. Before I entered university, giving God things is easy to fall out of love from whom you have not given anything. You understand what I'm saying? Am I talking to somebody? It is very easy to fall out of love from any any relationship you have not made sacrifices. That's why you see some of these men that maybe have built the lady a house, bought her a car, and they hear she's cheating. It, it, it breaks the heart to the bone marrows. It pierces the heart. It pierces the heart. And the first question is, what have I not done for you? What have I not done for you? That's why God, it, it breaks God every time we have prostituting believers. Today you are for God. Tomorrow you are for the world. Today you are for God. Tomorrow you are for the world. Where do you belong? And you are here complaining of heartbreak when you are breaking God's heart all the time. Hmm? When you are breaking God's, don't mind them. Should should we mind you? Praise God. He said, "For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also." There will your heart. You know why Job was not going anywhere? Because all the sacrifices was for God. I am yours. I am your own. Till the day you will come. Jesus, I am your own. All the sacrifices was for God. Everything was for him. There was no time he was making merriment and uh, all of that, just wasting money and have. Everything was still done for God. Everything was still done for God. So where am I going to? Where am I going to? And David said, it's better I fall into the hands of God. It's better I fall into the hands of God. He said, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. You want to keep God at the center of your life anybody that is telling you to withdraw your hands from giving doesn't like you that's the easy easiest way to backslide him that's the easiest way to draw him back the easiest easiest way the moment you don't love any a girl you stop giving her the moment you don't love any anything you are into that's why you enter some clubs the way they know that you love and you are serious you see, you give first. Am I talking? He said, You have to replace the thing you love the most. You have to sacrifice it. 
am I the one that taught you? You already know that. That thing that replaces that is the topmost of love in your life, you have to bring it in exchange for the love. If you love this club, if you love our deity, you have to sacrifice it so that we now know that at the top best of the echelon of your heart, this club is, is, is top. It's topmost. Are you following me? Yes. It's as simple as that. So you want to be safe. Don't play with your tight. It's not about canker woman and devour us. Give all those rubbish. Don't play with your tight. Don't play with your offering. Don't play with your offering. I have taught you what offering means. Don't play with these things. And you discover that um, you always be in tune and in step with God. Praise God. If all your sowing is to the flesh, you shall reap corruption. You shall reap corruption. If all that you are doing, your doings is in the world, you always be, want to be in the world. You always want to be there. But if all your doings is in the kingdom, you always want to be in the kingdom. You always, I tell you, try it. Today, now after service, send me 50,000. You see, you will never want to, you want to know everything I'm doing. Am I talking to somebody? Just try it. If you think it's like, bring out your phone now and transfer. Let me call my account. 0161. Just try it today now. You will see that you, you always want to come to church to make sure I'm fine, to make sure I'm okay. Because I'm your investment. So, but see one now, you, you just, you just say, so where is your 2,000? You have not paid 2,000 for graduation. You say, I don't have it. I'm not coming. Not coming. It's easy to disappear when you have not made any sacrifice. It's easy. It's easy to draw back. Praise God. If you sow to the world, you will reap corruption. But if you sow to God, you have life everlasting. Rise to your feet.